Kyle Johnson, also Michael McCann, two of the stars from the Sunday game against Rice. And guys, what a way to come to the 40. Michael, we'll go ahead and start with you because both you guys really helped out in the 10th inning. You delivered the game-winning double. It was your fifth collegiate at-bat. The previous two at-bats you had struck out. How did those ABs help you out in that final one? I mean, uh, going to the first at-bat, I mean, I was nerves were running. They were running pretty good and hit a good, decent line drive with the second base. He made a good play, caught it. But So I kind of got a good feeling of what I'm going to see the next at-bats. But those two strikeouts, um, I saw a lot of breaking balls, saw a good fastball as well. And they just they really got my mind thinking to where I knew what was coming my fifth at-bat and stepped in and gave it a going. Yeah, he knew what was coming, ripped it for an RBI double. You guys end up winning. We'll get to why you won and closed it out here in a second. But I want to get to that at bat. You grew up in Round Rock. You and I both grew up in Austin. We both grew up loving UT baseball. That's where the similarities end because he's a Division I baseball player. You ended up, you know, fulfilling your dream coming to Texas. What's it like to get your first hit as a born and raised Texas baseball fan at Rice in extras to win it? I mean, it's, it's the number one dream come true. I mean, literally growing up, come to UT, watch a ball game, you want to be that guy who gets that hit and just everyone screams. The crowd's going crazy, your teammates going crazy. And rounding first, going to slide into second, freaking out when I slide in and stand up. I mean, it was number one dream come true right there. All right, Kyle. So he did his job up 4-3. Mm -hmm. You came in with one out and one on, but let's get to the two outs and two on. Everything's on the line. What was your mindset at that point? Um, just... Sticking with the mechanics, uh, trusting my routines, just one pitch at a time, hitting the mitt, uh, keeping it simple, and just trying not to overthink the situation. You looked really jacked up on that final K, <laughs> as you should. Kendall Rogers from D1Baseball.com had the gun on you, and he said that you hit 96 on <laughs> that one. It, you just think about it. You know, does adrenaline play into being a closer? Because it looked like you were just jacked out of your mind. Yeah, I mean, it definitely does, but... That also comes with you need to step off the mound, take a deep breath, and just refocus in each pitch. Try not to just get too hyped for it. Just calm down, relax, and just keep hitting the mitt, just doing your job. But definitely was pretty exciting after that last pitch to get the W and extras. What were you guys thinking uh, when you saw that fastball come out of his hand? I was thinking cheddar. <laughs> cheddar. cheddar, huh? Yeah. Little cheese. Little cheese. Throw some cheddar in there. You said after the game, Michael, you said this is a real team, and this is a real team win. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Everyone played a part. I mean, from everyone played a defensive part to an offensive part. And, I mean, Ben hitting that single to right field and turns it into a triple. I mean, he, he did that for the team. Every, everyone, everything that everyone did, they did that for the team. You were at Cedar Ridge last year, just up north here. You were at Flower Mound. Uh, you just think about you guys were playing high school baseball last year, and you look so comfortable. Second round of the state playoffs, mm -hmm. you pitched a perfect game. Yes, sir. And had 16 Ks. I've talked to scouts, and you weren't drafted, but mm -hmm. I go, why wouldn't you drafted? They said, look, he made it clear I'm going to Texas. He's yeah. not signable. You probably could have been drafted very high. Why would you make that choice? Um, Texas has been a dream school of mine since I was 9 or 10 years old. Uh, I just wanted to play baseball here. Just ever since I was that age following baseball, like I want to play baseball at University of Texas. And my junior year, Coach Wallace at Flamont High School, he asked me, he goes, well, where do you want to play college ball? And I said, I want to play at the University of Texas. He's like, all right, well, let's try to make that happen for you. And here we are, uh, just living the dream, just taking it one day at a time. Michael, you're, you're a catcher, and you've got two really good catchers, so you're going to catch her eventually, but right now kind of mm -hmm. focusing on offense because mm -hmm. there is so much talent right there. And so you're going to help out offensively. But I'm kind of curious, you're both freshmen here, and I'm sure you guys are hanging out. God touched that right arm, obviously, if he's yep. touching 96 and 97 as a, an 18-year-old. <laughs> um, whenever you guys are out, like, let's say you're going to need something to eat or whatever, do you not let him do – are you guys not let him use the right – like, no, no, I got that plate. I, I, I got the plate. Sit down. <laughs> it's funny that you say that. Um, after the game, he was walking out of the dugout, and he had all his stuff on his right shoulder. Oh, what are you doing? I was oh, sitting no. on the bus, <laughs> and I was sitting on the bus, and – I looked out the window and I see him walk into the bus and I run out. I tell him, get that off your right shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have seen Bull Durham, you know, Nuke Lelouch, you know, you, you, you hit him with your left, you, your non-pitching hand, all right? Do everything with your non-pitching yeah, exactly, hand. Exactly, exactly. Guys, I wouldn't believe you're freshmen. Way to step up and have a good year, all right? Thank yes, you. Sir, appreciate thank it. Thank you very much.